Hi boys and girls, today we're going to read a story called Valentine O'Byrne, Irish Dancer. This is by Declan Carville and Brendan Ellis. Valentine had a dream. She wanted to be a dancer, but not just any kind of dancer. Valentine wanted to be an Irish dancer. She practiced all the time, everywhere, in the kitchen and in her bedroom. In the bathroom, in the supermarket, even at the bus stop. She was especially proud of her dancing outfit. She kept it for special occasions. So when the lady came to school to pick dancers, Valentine was really excited. She performed with the other girls. She kicked her legs as high as she could. She just kept dancing and dancing and dancing. She thought she was floating on air. But the lady didn't pick Valentine. In fact, she hardly even noticed her. Valentine was very disappointed. That day she walked home from school no twirls or spins. She was very sad. Mom told her not to be too unhappy and made her a sandwich. Go in and sit down, love, she said. Your legs must be tired. I'll put on your video. Valentine sank into the chair. She didn't feel hungry. All she wanted to do was dance. Why couldn't I have been picked, she said to herself. Then suddenly she caught sight of the dancers on the TV, and she had an idea. She sat up so quickly, her drink nearly went all over the floor. Where are you going, Valentine? Her mom shouted as she ran out the door. Valentine! Valentine ran into the house next door. Is Connor here? She asked Mrs. Walsh. I need to see him. That night, Valentine and several of her friends stayed in the garage for hours until it was time to come in for bed. We must meet again tomorrow, Valentine said to her friends. We have lots more to do. Nobody knew what they were up to. Not until Friday, when Connor Walsh put a big poster outside Valentine's garden wall. Come to the show! Saturday at 1 o'clock. Dancing, singing, and lots more. Everyone welcome. Valentine could see from her bedroom window that lots of people were, st were stopping and staring. She started to get very excited. In fact, the night before, she could hardly sleep. The next day, everybody had a job to do. Mary handed a ticket to everyone coming in, so as they could get into the back garden. Sean Hughes was practicing his magic tricks, and the twins, Angela and Claire, sang some lovely songs. Valentine came on at the end. But she didn't just walk on, she ran on, legs flying through the air. Everybody screamed and clapped. Some people even stood up. Mm -hmm. 
Valentine danced until she could no longer feel her feet. She wanted to go on forever. She took many bows in front of the audience. People were shouting for more, but Valentine just smiled and waved and said she would see them all, ag all again soon, next time. And that's the end of Valentine O'Byrne, Irish Dancer. I hope you enjoyed the story, boys and girls.